So you have to hold the wrist guys or the triangle. He lifts this leg super fast and starts to turn. Yes, and blocks that leg. Okay. Now this could be problematic. Why? Because now I have a lower hook. All he needs to do is a fast movement. Yes, over the top, and he defeats that leg. Go back. So what do I do? As soon as that happens, the third alternative is to cross right over the top. Boom. Okay, so if I can't access here and I can't triangle because he's already starting his escape, well, I lock right there. And now look what that does again. Prevents the lower hook from being there. Now that it's locked, it's impossible for him to get his body weight on the top of that leg because I've now locked it with a clasp and wedge system down there. So from this position now, guys, it becomes easy again to work my strangles and submit them. Okay, so again, in this position here, back control, looking for that choke. He starts to go to one side to escape. I try the post grip, but look, he steps over it. He's already one step closer to escaping. Again, all he needs to do now is get his back flat and twist this way and go flat and boom, he's out of there. So I have to act fast. As soon as I realize I can't get that, I immediately cross the feet, which locks him in place. Now I have no lower hook, and that's the third option from that position to make sure you have no lower hook. From here, again, it's easy to work my strangle, pull the arm out, and lock on that strangulation. Ready?